Son... Are you looking for a property to buy or rent? Are you a property owner and looking for a quick and suitable way to sell your properties? Are you looking for a house, an apartment, or land to buy in Liberia, West Africa? Look no further, because Superior Real Estate has all the solutions to your problems. They have beautiful acres of land and comfortable homes for you to buy now. Register and incorporate it. Superior Real Estate is bringing honest real estate transactions and a peace of mind to all their clients. Located in Pizio, Superior Real Estate can be reached on 0880-544-111 or WhatsApp them on plus 231-775-87. Four says one zero. You will not be disappointed. Superior real estate, real estate you can trust. I say, honey, have you heard about the Global Net TV? Oh yes, we heard. I read about them at Global Net ITV. They provide superior television services with endless selections of TV channels and many options to include live TV. That's a great news. Yes, they provide news. Entertainment, premier sports like NBA, American football, major soccer leagues, movies, and favorite TV shows with endless content and no service interruptions. Sweetheart, is that all? No, they also have adult content included with parental guidance. Also, check out their six-month plan for only $96 and their 12-month plan for only $176. Wow! But sweetheart, how can we get in touch? Yes, you can contact us at 226-946-1090 or visit our website at www.globalnetitv.com. We all know the headache we go through sending money to our loved ones, friends, and family in Liberia. High fees, long lines in banks, the usual complaint of the system being down, such a waste of time and energy. That is why I was very happy when I learned that SendWave is now in Liberia. So now I can send money anytime from anywhere directly from my smartphone to the MTN Lone Star Cell Mobile Money account of a loved one, friend, or family within seconds for just a tiny fee. So download SendWave now to your phone from your Apple Store or Google Play Store, add your details, and don't worry. They are very safe and secure and start sending money today. Don't forget to insert the promo code HOFSTAR to get free $5 credit added to your first transfer. Same way, it's secure, super fast, and by far the most affordable way to send money to Liberia. I'm Henry P. Costa and a very happy customer. Thank you. Okay. Uh, good morning. Welcome to the program. You're listening to the Costa Show today. It's um, today is uh, uh, Tuesday, the 26th day of January 2021, and uh, welcome to a brand new edition. And uh, we're very glad to be here. Uh, good morning, Boga. Good morning, Costa. Good morning to our many listeners uh, in and around. Uh, Liberia. <laughs> We're so sorry yesterday for you know what occurred. It was not only about us, but it was uh, nationwide stuff. The entire internet just went down during that time of the day. So uh, we ourselves faded from this end. That was, that was a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, that's true. It was an internet uh, blackout. <laughs> yeah, Liberia. So yesterday, George Weir, um, you know, uh, delivered his fourth annual message, and um, and uh, it was interesting. A lot of a lot of interesting things, uh, folks. If you're looking to send money to like to Liberia, very reliably, on the 
affordably. SendWave is the way to do it. The fee is still 1%. So if you send $100, you pay only $1. If your relative or your relative or your friend or loved one, whoever you send the money to in Liberia wants to cash out the money, well, that's a different thing. And that's something we've made very clear from the, from the beginning. Uh, if you want to cash out money in Liberia, you got to pay a fee. Even if Bwagai were to send, say Bwagai sends 50 US dollars from his mobile money account to George's mobile money account. George Webb, one of our staff members. If George wants to go and cash out that money, George has to pay a cash out fee. That is the way it works. It is just that simple. So, but the fact that uh, SendWave charges you only 1% fee is remarkable. The promotion is still ongoing for the hundreds and hundreds of you who have who inserted the Costa promo code COSCA Costa and got free five dollars and got free ten dollars during the Christmas period that special promotion pe uh, period. You've still got your money in your account. All you need to do is just send money today, whether it's five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen dollars, whatever it is, and the money uh, that free promotion money you have in your account will be automatically added to the uh, money you want to send for your relative or your loved one. That's the way it works. Good. Uh, yeah. Now, yesterday, George, we have said a whole lot of things, as usual. The speech lasted for just a little over one hour and 30 minutes. It was a long, it was windy, it was boring, the delivery was horrible, and uh, and of course, his usual cherry squat was a hand. Mm -hmm. In fact, when he said the economy grew by 0.3%, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, negative. The man said the economy grew by negative 3%. Negative three percent, and uh, they were clapping for him. They were clapping. Yeah. So the economy did not grow by three percent. It grew by negative three percent. You know what that means? Hmm. What well, you know? It's, it's, it's just a nice way to say negative three percent means you only you in the negative. You didn't grow to the to 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 toward the positive end. You actually saw a shrink. Of your economy, your economy saw a negative growth. Negative growth is no growth, but not only is it no growth, it's growth in the opposite direction. That means you lost a, 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 a size or a piece of your economy. What's lost? For example, there's a uh, World Bank report that came out in terms of GIN, gross national income. Liberia saw a 0.5%, not even 0 0.5, Liberia saw a negative 5% loss of our gross national income. This is the total. The economy declined and they were clapping. We saw negative growth, negative, zero, uh, negative 3.3%. Uh, and they were clapping for him. If somebody tells you uh, the business this year, we sustain uh, negative 10% growth. You know what that means? You lost a 10% size of your business. That's what happened. Of your revenue. That's what happens. You know, it's one thing to say, you know, we didn't grow at all. But you did grow. But the growth that happened was in the negative. That means you lost. You lost. You lost. I don't know why they even call it growth because if you didn't, if nothing happened going forward. It happened going backwards. And the guys were clapping for George Wien. He said our national debt stock. That means all of the money, our combined total national debt, how much money we owe as a country, the debt. Debt stock. The word is debt. D-E-B-T. It's not debt. The B is always silent. It is, it is never pronounced. It doesn't matter whether you are uh, speaking 
What kind of, it's not about your accent. It's debt. So our debt stock, I mean, that means the total money we owe as a country. The man said it's 1.58 billion. That's the combined debt stock of the country. 1.58 billion. In fact, when he called that one, they were clapping. Yeah. We owe 1 billion 58 million United States dollars. One, that's what 1.58 billion means. 1 billion 58 million United States dollars. It is our debt stock. That's what we owe as a country and people. Yeah, now, they were clapping. Mm -hmm. It was a great thing he said that we owe that much money. Now, the thing is this. You have to ask yourself, how much was our debt stock when Mr. Weir came into office? When Mr. Weir came into office, I, I don't know the numbers, but I know that we didn't even owe half a billion. All these loans Mr. Weir has taken on over the last three years, that's why our debt stock has shot up to $1 billion, 58 million United States dollars. Borrowing money from here, borrowing money from there. You borrowed the 50 million to, from the IMF to do food dist dist distribution. Speaking of the food dist distribution, yesterday Mr. Weir said that they have distributed, that's really true, that's contraction. That's the key word. Con the economy contracted. We didn't grow, we contracted. That's why I use the word shrink. You know, we saw a shrinking by, you know, negative 3%. Yes, uh, Mr. Weir said, Buakai, that the guy is interesting. That over, over the last several months, the government working in partnership with WFP, they have distributed uh, food supplies under the COVID-19, he can call it COVID-19. COVID. Under the COVID-19 uh, food distribution, by the way, that's how he pronounces it. They have distributed food to 1 million Liberians in nine counties. Wait, 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 why? 1 million Liberians in nine counties received food supplies from the government. According to George Weir yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, boy, where the hell did 1 million, I mean, did, did 1 million Liberians receive food supplies from the government that you all don't know about? 1 million Liberians received free food from the government. Under the, the COVID-19 stimulus food package, household, whatever, whatever they call it. And we don't know about it? Are you kidding me? He said they have gone ahead and distributed food, rice, beans, and vegetable oil to one million Liberians across the country in nine counties. No, he actually said ten counties. Ah. Yeah. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. So, so the guy saying, mm. we've been sleeping. They went ahead and they distributed food to one million Liberians across the country in ten counties. And we were all asleep. Mm. Perhaps they put us to sleep. They distributed the food, then they woke us up. And by the time we woke up, the food was already, they had already given the food. I mean, this makes absolutely no sense. You see, this is what we always knew they would do. They would steal the food distribution money like they steal every other money. And then they would tell us that they did distribute the food. That's what they said they did. Because they have to say something. What did they do with the money for the food? Oh, we bought the food. We went across the, the, the country and we distributed the food. The last time we ever saw any food distribution begin was when a few bags of rice and a few gallons of oil and, and a few sachets or bags of beans were given out to people. 
And then it stopped after a few days. We never heard from them again. And now Mr. Weir has suddenly told us in his annual message that they have already given food to one million people. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I mean, I don't know where these counties are. Well, maybe they are a they are part of the 17 cont continents that Jefferson Koji talked about. Right? But they can be part of the continents or the continent we are on, Africa. And, and, and that, that, that's not where they, they did the food distribution. It just doesn't make sense. And it and doesn't make God, sense. When he said that. Of course, they were coming for him again. <laughs> One million people received food in nine, in ten counties. Yes, Mr. 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 President. Mr. Weir went further to say that he recognized his wife, Claire Weir. He recognized Claire Weir for being very benevolent. That she's the biggest philanthropist in the country. Mm -hmm. She's doing an amazing job helping the poor people in Liberia. Left all the poor children in Jamaica and came to Liberia to save all the poor Liberian children and the poor Liberian women. Claire Weir is such a wonderful, wonderful humanitarian. Mr. Weir was heaping praise upon his wife. You know, Baga, it's one thing to be doing charity with the country's money than to be doing charity with your own money. Sure. We didn't see Claire Weir around when she was struggling in New York in a Kobo shop. Yeah. Before Mr. Weir became president. Claire Weir was not a humanitarian then. But all of a sudden, after this idiot comes to power, his wife becomes a humanitarian. And we are supposed to sit there and be cheering his dear beloved wife on when she's stealing a lot of money from us and pretending to be a humanitarian. Baga, this boy is brave. That Claire Weir is a great humanitarian. That she loves Liberian children and Liberian vulnerable and disadvantaged women. And she's helping them. She's a mother. She, 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 she's Mother Teresa of Jamaica. Only that she's doing her humanitarian work in Liberia and not in Jamaica where there are millions of poor people. I mean, Claudia, for Christ's sake, is not raising this money from outside. She's using this Claudia Foundation thing as a as a funnel. Mm. That's how she's making money. She's she's soliciting money from big, big business people who want to do business in the country. And her husband helps her to do that. And that's how she raises money. Then she has money in our national budget. And so all of a sudden, Claire Weir now deserves our praise and our gratitude. Yeah, we should be grateful to Claire Weir for everything that she's done for us. Then Mr. Weir said, going forward, he's going to focus on the bread and butter issues. You remember he saying that part? Yes. In, in other words, he was saying for the, for the last three years, he has been focusing on what sort of issues? If only now he's going to focus on bread and butter issues. So what has he been focusing on? Okay. He's been focusing on milk and honey issues for himself and for McGill and for Claire Weir and for Twitter. No, they may be. They may be focusing on the difficult issues, but now that's... Hey, my man, and the milk and honey issue, you know, milk and honey is more than bread and butter. So, the milk and honey is not a difficult one, but honey is not cheap. Milk is not cheap. <laughs> but bread and butter cheap. So, Mr. Weir said yesterday that he's gotten the message. The Liberian people have sent him a message at the ballot box on, the, on December 8th. They sent him a message. He said he got the message. So he was focusing on the big things, trying to solve the big problems of the country. The big problems of the country, such as building 47 condominiums for himself, demolishing his 9th Street dilapidated uh, old house and building a brand new million dollar mansion there in his, in his place, buying properties left and right, buying G wagons and mass Maseratis for his girlfriends, Jackie Apia and the, and the likes. And living out for a flying private jet and with large delegations while the people are suffering, those were the milk and 
honey issues. Talking about Jackie Apia, the president left Liberia this morning at 6 15 a.m. for Accra, Ghana, for the late Gerald Rillen funeral. Gerald Rollins, yeah, Rollins. Yeah, well, again, go for funeral, Gerald Rollins funeral. I mean, does he have to go to Ghana for Gerald Rollins, uh, for the funeral of Gerald Rollins? I mean, come on, man. I mean, come on, Bakai. Bakai, seriously? Rollins? Rollins, who been president said, Charlie Quintana, so we have not send a library ambassador to Ghana? The library ambassador who is uh, posted at the embassy in Ghana could not attend the funeral, man, what guy? <laughs> but you know why he's going? And how did he fly there? Private jet. Yeah. The idiot just said yesterday that the economy is challenged. You call this economy challenged? The, is this what you call challenge, what guy? You hardly have money in the bank. You have you, your currency, your own money you can find. USD uh, foreign exchange inflow is 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 is, is, is at an all time uh, 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 low app, and you're flying private jet to go to a ten. You know that boy ain't going to attend no ten funeral, boy. Right? Mm. That boy went to do jolly jolly with Jackie Apia. Just the other day, he was in a crowd. He was the one useless president who, among all the other presidents, that flew into into Ghana for a kufu at those. Inauguration, we are lasted or stayed the longest in Ghana, enjoying himself with Jackie Apia. Then yesterday he said the economy is challenged, but the state of the nation is stable and healthy. But I, how can the state of the nation be healthy and stable when most parents have been unable to pay their children's tuition? How can the state of the nation be healthy and stable when even civil servants struggle to get their salaries? In fact, every time the government is able to pay for one month or two months, Samuel Tua makes a big pronouncement because it's a big deal. Yeah. Paying salary for government employees is no longer a perfunctory common thing to do. It is not a routine thing anymore. It's a big development. The Minister of Finance himself has to make that pronouncement. Oh, by the, by the way, beginning next week, we're going to start processing the salary for the month of January. That's big news. Yeah. Because it happens so infrequently that every time it happens, they have to make a big pronouncement around it. It's a big deal. Like, for example, why are you are the father of, of, the, of the home? But because you're so lazy and so fussy, you had to provide food for your kids to eat. Now, every time, every time you're lucky to find some food, then you make a big like, oh, tomorrow... Huh. You're eating kidney, the kidney beans in their house. So, brother, now you got to make an announcement that your children will eat. <laughs> now you are a proud daddy. You have to tell your wife and tell your kids, by the way, tomorrow you all will eat kidney beans. Well, they didn't eat two days ago. Or they haven't eaten for the last two months. But now you got to make a pronouncement because it's such a big deal. Because eating in that household is no longer a routine. Yeah. That big achievement. Your turn coming in now, huh? so now you got to make an announcement. So now, and the man is flying to Accra to attend funeral. My people, will Jerry Rollins make George Mia to that funeral if he does not attend? No. Exactly. He going for the funeral to go and sleep with Jackie Yapia. That's all he going to the funeral for. He going to know the damn funeral to go. He will stay there for days. In Accra. What kind of man is this, my people? They make they make they make a land. They make a land. That is the only reason why we are is going to Accra this morning. Because the last time Jackie Apia must have given it to him. Good. So he's still he's still here. Hey. He's going back for some more. How long was he in Ghana for again? The, the inauguration should have happened on the 7th of January. He left Liberia on the 6th of January. Perhaps he spent almost a week in Ghana. Mm -hmm. When we were all complaining that he was wasting time in Ghana, he was having a, a fun time with Jackie Apia and his other girlfriends there, and he didn't want to come back. Karasmo was posting, oh, the president bringing goodies from Accra. Who brings goodies from Accra? Nothing. What the hell does Ghana have to bring you another country? 
What country's president goes to Ghana and says, oh, don't worry, man, my citizen, you're away from me, and I'll bring you goodies from Ghana? Ghana? <laughs> Look, Liberian people, this thing here we're in, my people, is not easy. George Mane we are is a disaster. They may not change. They may will not change. There is absolutely nothing that they may will do different differently. They may say the state of the economy is challenged that he flies to a funeral. But huh? mm. he did, did he have to go for Jerry Rollins' funeral? He and Jerry Rollins were not even particularly close. Rollins was not a fan of George Weir. No, he wasn't. How the hell can we have been talking about going for Jerry Rollins' funeral when he just told us yesterday the economy is challenged? Our economy grew or saw a decline by negative 3%. The economy contracted or declined by negative 3%. And yet you fly on a private jet for several days to go to, to, go to Ghana for a funeral to go and have a nice time. The guy is insensitive and he is wicked. Now, he, he, he we went on yesterday in his speech to say that the cabinet should be on red notice. Parker, what nonsense is that? So, this man is telling us that this cabinet that has presided over the mismanagement, the wholesale wanton looting of the state, the decapitation of the Liberian state, in every facet and form, you know, the degradation of the e economy, willful, deliberate, conscientious abuse of our laws. This cabinet, he's impressed with this cabinet. Mm. And that this cabinet should be on red notice. So this cabinet is going to remain. <laughs> Look, and then uh, you'll focus on bread and butter issues. Yeah, he was focusing on milk and honey issues, but now he will focus on bread and butter issues. Fellow Liberians, we are in serious trouble. You know, it's one thing when the president is corrupt. The president of your country is very, very corrupt. But it's another thing when the president is corrupt and is an idiot. Then it is worse. Okay. Mm. It's enough that the man is corrupt, but that he's corrupt and he's an idiot is worse. Sure. Because he sits there, whatever Samuel Twain and McGill tell him, that's, that's what he believes. He goes to make that stupid long speech and he say, Oh, yeah, it's okay. You know, how can you tell a country? You know, somebody put it nicely on social media, I saw it. The person said, how can you tell a hungry man that he's, that he's eating, he's had food, when he knows he hasn't had food and you expect him to be happy? How can you tell a man who has got no job that things are okay, that he earns an income and can support his family? But he knows that's not a reality, but you tell him that and you expect him to cheer you on and clap for you. This is a situation with George Vian and the Liberian people. They are living the harsh reality created by his wickedness, his willful, deliberate incompetence, patent stupidity and idiocy. And yet he tells them in one speech, oh, the country is doing, is doing, doing, doing good. In, in fact, do you know Mr. We have probably thought that when he said the economy, uh, uh, we sustain economic growth by Negative three percent. He probably thought it was negative three percent. Probably means on the positive side. That means a good thing. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're not gonna focus on his pronunciation here and and how he sounded. No, we will focus on the substance of the speech. For one hour and thirty-two minutes, Mister Weir lied. He overstated. He manufactured, he presented manufactured facts and all kinds of things. And so, at the end of the day, what do we do as a people? 
Well, we continue to live the reality. And we'll wait for the elections. But we're going to open the phone lines and speak to our people so they can tell us what they make of Weir's speech yesterday. Before we do, I want to say happy birthday to Mr. William Bowie J. Uh, of Georgia, the USA. You clock 59 today. Uh, William Bowie J. Uh, fifth, a happy 59th birthday to you. Uh, I wish you all the best and uh, many, many more years to come. We're going to go to the phone lines. One million Liberians across 10 counties receive food supplies, according to George Weah, which is a bloody lie. Mr. Weah also said, Wakai, that under the small business, under the small business scheme, small business loan, I don't know who they give that money to, may, maybe to seditions, that they, 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 they did, they, they uh, distributed cash transfers to thousands of people. I don't know what the exact number he called Boga, but he said thousands of people received cash transfers from the government. Thousands of people. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Thousands of people, according to George Weir, received cash transfers from the government under the small loan scheme. Again, Boga, how do we verify that? 85,000 people. Thank you. I mean, 85,000 people, Baka, that's no more. Somebody just posted that number. I think I must have heard that number. That 85,000 people received cash transfers from the small business scheme? I don't believe it. Baka, I need to see that data. I need to check with those people. 85,000 people? That number, Mr. Weir took it right out of the same place he took the 1 million people who received the food supply from. That same place. That it came from. The same play where Clark we are is the best, the greatest humanitarian in the country. That is same play we are man took that number for eighty five thousand Liberians receive government cash transfers. Okay, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let's go to the lines and let's take some calls. The guy is a bloody liar. What do you make of the president annual message on yesterday? According to him, 10 counties have received the stimulus package and blah, blah, blah. A lot of things coming up. 077-102-102-086-0103-83-055-102-102. And the WhatsApp number is plus 231-888-624171. That's the WhatsApp number. Plus 231-888-624171. And you'll be live on today's edition of the Costa Morning Show. So uh, we anticipate your calls. Once you put them through, we'll take you and uh, let you in on today's edition of the show. Let's take our first caller here. Good morning. Good morning, brother. Good morning, Pastor. Yeah, good morning. Where are you calling from? I'm back, Pastor. I'm back, Pastor. I'm back. Okay, welcome. Take one minute. Yeah. Uh... For a point, yesterday, I think this is the president of uh, Amnesty yesterday. The one that I said to me, I know that I said the president was lying, but the president of the region of the Cuba said, he 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. One minute per caller. Now take this person from overseas. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you calling from? I'm so funny. I'm calling from Germany. Okay, Germany, let them warm in my brother quickly. Uh, I'm not surprised. I'm the president's speech yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm saying the lawyer, the president of the night, and I'll leave out the information. The president needs to wake up. The president needs business, he needs to wake up. The president needs to wake up. There's no room now for empty speech or empty promises. Mm -hmm. We need action. We don't need too much speeches. The president needs to wake up. Forget about too much traveling. Focus on the country economy. How to improve the livelihood of the Liberian people. I mean, we are 
we are in Nigeria, we are suffering. Okay. Every now and then, we see friends call us, they try to help us, and the tears are looking okay. I mean, they were the first time to call our friends back in Nigeria because of the economic difficulty. Okay, thank you so much, my brother. Let me take another person here quickly. Good morning. Yeah, you may call it from. Uh, yes, uh, I, I, I'm feeling so bad about the lines that they said, uh, 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 said yesterday. Everything we said over the yesterday was, 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 was lies. How would you say one day like we got similar package for even if Mozzarella commented that they got um, access to little bit paid groups, no communities, less than three communities got the, the, the similar package. How will you be prepared to lie to your people, lie to international partners uh, uh, around? How will you behave like that? You see, it's very, very much disheartening for him to go. And he knew that what the photographic people were all lies. You saw him laughing yesterday. Sure. He played more of himself. Not in the people, but these are lessons for us to learn, my brother. If our people will see tomorrow they need to demand t-shirts and they say they bought like a company, you got a company at heart and voting a deal, we all will be in a suffering. Okay, thank you so much, my brother. Now take another person here. Good morning. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from that. You see how you're making? I'm calling from the other side. Yeah, go ahead. One minute. Yeah. You know, the problems be it was not that bad because that the cheering squad I was enjoying yesterday more than what you were saying. Because whatsoever other be the negative they were cheering, they are all detriment, they are all suffering, they were cheering for it. So I enjoyed the cheering squad yesterday. That's why I enjoyed for the speech yesterday. <laughs> yeah, the man the, the economy declined, they put cheering. We owe 1.58 billion uh, to the international uh, international creditors. The people the put cherry. Our national debt gone up. In fact, we get one we, we get one uh, one billion Liberian food in ten counties. The people clapping. Yeah, the best uh, the best in uh, four persons have died for COVID nineteen. The people cheering. <laughs> <laughs> they got enough serious to that place. Uh. 0770102102 keep your calls coming in we'll stay taking them uh let's take this person good morning good morning brother yeah yeah where are you calling from i'm here calling calling from Bernardino. welcome one minute okay thank you good morning 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 dear. for me i know that it's fish but we will not have the end but it won't benefit that when they are ready and that's a lie already it was so disheartening. When he said that Nigeria had gotten the similar package, my lady said, Yeah. He said, Oh my God. Can you imagine that? <laughs> so president lying. The only reason they were in there, very intentional. They could kill continue to come and say that and say you guys to come as well as possible. Thank you. Okay. But since they were not in peace, you know, we just wait for 2023, uh, all we got to do. The man, the man went to a girlfriend, Jackie Appiah, after lying to the nation yesterday. I mean, he did not even attempt to give the people hope. He basically said, oh, be, going forward, I will focus on bread and butter issues. Bread and butter issues? A government should always focus on bread and butter issues, Baka. Always. Always. But what does Mr. We are know about bread and butter issues? The member of almost silver spoon here, Mark. He's a king. Eh? He know nothing about bread and butter issues. Let's take some more calls there, Baka. Let's take this person here. Good morning. Good morning, Baka. Yeah, you are living calling from. Good morning. You are live, you are living calling from. Yeah. This is DJ Lumet from Corway. Okay, go ahead. Baka, it's good to go here.
Thank you so much, DJ Lomel. Let's take some money from the States. Good morning. Welcome. Where are you calling from? Yeah, good morning, boy. My name is Koto Jalabala. I am calling from New York. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, boy. Thank you, Costa. You know, something, something kind of uh, struck me yesterday when the president was giving his information. Uh, he was so serious giving all of the, the economic information. Uh, when it came to the, 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 the similar package, to show that he was really about to lie for selling the similar package, you know, that he started to laugh. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, it was so unserious to me for the president to come out, you know, talking about the similar package. He was making mockery of the Liberian people. something this lady said that makes sense he talked about basically the government had a surplus of I think 7 million that they carry forward so yeah. if the budget performed that well this is the point this lady raised it's a brilliant point I think he said the government uh, their revenue projection was 500 and something million and then they raised 7 million more than that amount so what happened if you project, now I will get the actual number. Those of you who are listening, kind of help us with that. But if you project 500, let, let's say 510 million dollars is what you project to raise in your in your budget, then you end up raising 517. That means there's an extra of what? There's a surplus of seven million. So a surplus of seven million dollars. If you had a surplus of seven million, that means everything your government intended to spend, to raise and spend, they were able to raise it and spend it, plus more, plus an addition of seven million. So, if you had a surplus, why the hell haven't you been able to keep up with salary payments and other services that government need to uh, must pro that plan or sought to? provide during the fiscal period. So what did you do with the $7 million surplus? There was a $7 million surplus somewhere that they carried forward because according to him, the budget did so well. Okay. How can the budget do so well, but yet every day people are complaining their salaries have not been paid? I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. Let's go back to the lines. Let's take some more calls then. Let's keep hearing the Liberian right. people out what they make of Weir's speech yesterday. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. You are anybody calling from? Yeah, good morning, good morning. How are you going? I'm okay. Welcome. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I think if I'm going to ask you this point, the only time I'll say it down here is when you pronounce what would it say the United States government. I think only one to pronounce, but it's not left only baby. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, more calls keep them coming in, and we'll take you through the lines this morning. What do you make of the President annual message? Good morning. Yeah, good morning, brother. Where do we call it from? I'm Timothy Smith calling from Marotta. Morning, contact. Morning. You know, it's a sad day for our country, my brother, sister. And we, the people of the country, will be very focused. But we can make the decision with the voter. We can go to the ballot box. So it, it is time now that we go to our people. Because I look, I, I, I tell you, last time, you see so many calls from the rural area and the rural. And we, right now, we don't get ready to go to the 14 counties that voted for President. We have to engage the people. Because I saw that the law, they call them celebrating President. We are. And I'm so disappointed in President. We are not even here to talk about security. Our security 
in this country. So we, the people that are going and staying in now, staying in the green, staying in the darkness, the football, president and senator and representative, we need to engage each other. What we're doing now? We should be saying our phone. Look at the result. We have to benefit for the three years of president we are. A regime. They go three years. What benefit them as a country? And you sit there and just bring lies and lies and lies. You talk about your West person and we have to get it mad to tell them about your West. When we talk about the three missing boys, we're talking about the same data, we're talking about the economy, we're talking about our talk about this one, we're talking about our JC Nama, we're talking about our auditor, and you talk about your West in our in our agent. So we the people, as I we right now we tell our people from village to village, we need to speak our data and tell our people, turn it to the three is right to our door. Okay. Our senator, our Lord, we're not detailed on them because what we are speaking on our churches and our great children's future. All right, Sunimo. So thank you so much, Pastor. I'm waiting for you to come to the country and no man. Okay, my brother, thank you. Now, but I hold on. Hold on. We need to close down to engage the turn to the three. All right, Timmy, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ah, listen. Uh, you know, the president had said, or the president said yesterday that he carried $7 million forward from the 2020-2021 budget, right? Yes. Stephen Johnson just pulled, pulled up the national budget year from 1.5 fiscal table and uh, the, the this is the approved national budget. Joey has said they carried $7 million forward. Now, that means the budget did so well that they had a surplus of $7 million. But, according to the, the data here, just fact checking the president, fact checking the president, what they carry forward is highlighted here in the yellow line. It's actually $10 million. That's what's here, Walker. Hmm. This is the amount that was carried forward, ten million. So, what happened to the to three of that ten million? So, the president said yesterday in his speech that what they saved or what they had as a surplus and carried forward into the new fiscal year is seven million. But according to the data here from the national budget, approved national budget. The amount they carry forward, they carry forward to 2021, 2020, 2021 budget is actually 10 million. So the man claims that from the previous budget, they carry 7 million forward. But the data shows here that they carry 10 million forward. So what happened to $3 million? You see why these things can easily be fact-checked, especially when you call numbers, budget numbers and stuff like that. So, the very surplus he was bragging about, he didn't even get the accurate number. It was $10 million. The budget says $10 million. Mr. Weir says $7 million. So, why is the $3 million, okay? I mean, I'm not even going to ask you what to do with it, $10 million, but at least... Why is it three million? You see that, Walker? Mm -hmm. Even on the amount you say you carry forward, you can't call it accurate amount. You contradict what the budget says. You have it in your budget that you made that you saved ten million dollars, and you brought it forward. But 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 then it gives somebody like the lady ask, and like I'm asking, like you are asking. If the budget did so well in such a bad economy, how the hell are salaries and goods and services not paid for on, on time? Huh? If the budget performed better than expected, you say you will raise 500 million and you raise 500 and what? 10 million. That means you perform better than expected. You should be able to pay for all of your needs and all of your or everything you projected. You should be able to have money to pay for it. But why aren't they paying for it? So where is the money going? Let's go back to the phone lines. Very good question that people need to ask themselves. Let's take some more calls. Okay. 
Love take a dispersion. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, bro. Good morning. Yeah, you know where you calling from? Oh, thank you. Good morning, DJ. Good morning, DJ. Yeah, Puka, welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you, DJ. Uh, let me get good morning, thank you. Morning, Puka. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, thank you, the thank you, thank you, thank you, and let me go to the top of the top for that. And good morning to the new family. Uh, this is the first one. I'm very happy that one is doing the best school of mission. We'll be very on the toilet. I'm very happy that one. Uh, president, the president of people are having to be ready for the top of our people. And the other guest that that actually is 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 not factual. It's not factual, but it's still about threatening. But the president is not doing well for you. We are not doing well for you, Mr. President. Next of all, you left the right here, and you went as far as what's ready. But the president, they will not help you. Mr. President, to be close to the people and tell the people that we're taking the process, tell the people that we are taking the process from we are working on the here, for you left it, and then you are saying something that you know that you have to. You talk about putting your package, our package, that is on that year, the president, give a type of CDC, give a type of opposition. Bwagai, one minute for each person, Bwagai. Bwagai, follow the one minute rule, please. Are you there, Bwagai? Thank you, thank you, thank you. When a Bwagai, don't get no, that, that, that man doesn't deserve any, any preference here. Let me make it clear. I have nothing against Poka. But Poka will not simply do what he did and come back and we'll just gain preference here. We will not do that. And I'm very clear. The one minute rule applies to all. There are lots of people calling the need to speak. No preferential treatment shall be given to anybody, particularly not Poka, not, not Poka, not after what he did. No, we will not do that yet. I have nothing against him. But we're not going to give him preference. This is a show that made the man. That man got up. He dissed this platform. He dissed the COP, and then he comes back, and then you think, you will, no, we don't operate like that, Baka. We don't encourage bad behavior. I have nothing against him. You have been reaching out to me, oh, Costa, please forget Poka. I have nothing against Poka. But Poka Robert does not deserve any preferential treatment here anymore. In every struggle, the one thing you must never be willing to easily forgive is betrayal. Every struggle. When people go and betray you, you can forgive them, but never let them back as closely as they don't let them back in your corner. You gotta be very clear. We're not we're, we're not here to, to whitewash it. We gotta be very, very clear here, Boka. If Poka and the people, you know the reason why people are there, oh the uh, please forgive Poka. I for, I forget I, why would I worry about a man like Poka? I'm nothing against him. But do you know why Poka is back? Is because the people on the other side don't have time for him. That is the only reason why Poka is trying to come back to us. He's going all. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to do that, Poka. If he calls into the show, you will take his call, but you will not let him speak for more than sixty seconds. The people who will speak for longer than sixty seconds are people who are loyal to us and to this struggle. You can't be flip flapping here. You get it, you go on the other side, you take small money, then you come back and go, oh, we'll not do that yet. I'm gonna be very clear. This platform will only help to make people who will remain loyal. When you become disloyal for any reason and you betray the struggle, we will disassociate ourselves from you. Let's go back to the phone lines and take calls there. We're not gonna do that yet. We're not encouraging bad behavior. Let's take Musa Kamara. Good morning, welcome. Hello. Yeah, I am Musa Mai Kamara, chairman of the Mamadi Dati Intellectual Forum and the community of the Mottam Friends Community. Welcome. Uh, yesterday, what the DJ question that we have is, and that surprises me, because we talk about the SF 
2005 that this man is not a leader, he's a football player and a dancer and a musician. But still, people in Liberia were testing and said, you had a map on a chest. So we said, you had a map on a arm and a chest and on a liver and kidney of Liberia, Lord Liberia, they voted for him. So, for Jogla to tell people that he went in the Tupé, I will have a surprise me. I started to say, the second one in Ghana is a good dancer, a good musician. When he spent all his time spending our money around, but this president is a very wicked president. This president is a very corrupt president. This president is a shameless president. This president is a conscious president. I don't know how one conscious being a man. He didn't think of the last one. We don't have not for the last one people. But still, our senator, the president, and some of them were seated here and clapping the car. They all will receive the prime envelope and then they are going to enjoy the People are still fighting to vote. CDC will all make up. And we are sent in the CPU to divide ourselves. Stay all of us divide ourselves. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, your call just ended there, Musa. But I will take some more calls. Uh, let me take this person. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, you are the mic calling from? Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, oh, God, I want to one point. Oh, no, 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 hey, Boga, Boga. Yeah, please, no. We're not going to do that yet. Please, let's take another call. Up. Yeah, you call on the day line, that's why. But I'm, uh, uh, we'll take some more call. Let's take this person. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, you are the mic calling from? Yeah, man. Good morning. Good morning, people. Oh, uh, fine, fine. Okay, regarding the president's speech yesterday, I heard you talking about the group. I heard you talking about many different percent growth. Yes, there is a growth. We are need to be a growth because we reach from a higher negative value to a lower negative value. That needs to be a growth. That's true. I was reading for the entire to a negative quadrant. We took what the economy it was sitting a negative quadrant. Why must you go there? And I will make it, trying to get people to understand that there was a budget software. How can you have a budget software in an economy you took over that was in a positive problem and you would like to go into a negative problem? The shout that, I heard you talking about the, the usual cherry squad. Yes. You know, when the, when the audience is not as sophisticated as the monitor, there will always be superfantic cherry. And the one thing happening, unfortunately, the other girl is killing but then what are people actually listening to? What do they say to you and we are still demanding? Thank you, Lord, for the that you Thank you, Bibola, for calling in. And that's a good point you raised, Mr. Some of some, some, some got calling. What people already know and what they were told. Waka and I and you, uh, Mr. Kone, know that Joya did not distribute food to one million people across ten counties. That one I lie. You and I know that. Jawia did not give money, small cash trans transfers to 85,000 Li Liberians. That one alarm. So, what else? If you get cash transfer to 85,000 Liberians, so how much you get to the East person? Let's do the math. That's the problem. Let's say East person got 150. Let's use 150 USD as the average number. So, we say 85,000. Ah, so, that means that 12 points on the million. Okay, let's say you get hundred US to each of the eighty five thousand people. So that eight point five million, but I want a million and I live Why are you lying like this? So if you distributed a hundred dollars per individual times eighty five thousand people, that would be eight point five million. Let's say Joe will get each person fifty US dollars times. 85,000. That's 4.250 million. They told us the entire small business loan package was what? Two or three million. Was it not three, three million, boy? Sure. The purple loan. That's how they called it, right? Yeah. They say it was three million. They deposited that money with LBDI for LBDI to help them manage it. So if you divide it, you, you want to say that you distributed what? 
money to 85,000 people. So you're talking about what? Let's do let's do the let's let's do the let's do the math. So we said three million dollars. That is if they have exhausted the entire amount, divided by eighty-five thousand. That means each person got thirty-five I US. Thirty-five I. My man, boy, let go by the phone, man. So that, boy, <laughs> why does the ball lie like this? Oh my God. Let's take some more, some more calls. It's not because they're too clapping for the man. Why the man lying to us? <laughs> Let's take this person. Good morning. Your name is calling from. Good morning, Baka. My name is Uber. I call from Lake Mishan. Do I just say Welcome. Uh, I think that I made this for you guys. You know, there's a thing which better than this. Tell my dad that man. You look for me and you join it. We look for this and I'm talking to you. The only problem that I have is sometimes some of you wake up soon in the morning to give us updates on some time on the state of our country's security, economy, and policy. Other than that, for me, I know the government is of there is nothing I can listen to on this end. Never. I prefer listening to music and to that crap that we can let cause speech. Because it continues to not be credible. It continues to not be credible. So, I mean, Sometimes the, uh, the culture show has just become something to all that we just got to look at data and listen to the show. Besides, I don't want to listen to anything from John Biafi, fully speaking. Thank you very much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, no? Thanks for your confidence. Let's take more calls. Let's take Momo Josie on the line. Momo, good morning. Welcome. Uh, good morning, brother. Brother, please. I take Jeremy Josie on the line. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, good morning, leader. Uh, thank you. Hello? What you got, Chairman Johnson? I, I want to use this public media to say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my Muslim brothers and sisters here with you there. And let me put the one say this. I am happy to be disappointed in the joke of the president. No. Mr. Packer, don't be a big part You know what? You know, we are not going to get the two who are on our 
So they began the stuff. Rollins has been lying in state, right? His remains have been lying in state at the Independence Hall. I think that's what they call it, or the Accra, something. But anyway, the the point I'm trying to make is, I wouldn't be surprised, and I will check. But I wouldn't be surprised if that funeral is not even have happening today. I would not be surprised. These proceedings, these uh, things take days before they actually go to the funeral. So, so we have a, the man goes on a private jet. It's a two-hour flight to Accra. He has no reason going a whole day or two days before the funeral. Just like he did for the inauguration. He, he went a whole day before it. He can go the same day and come back the same day. Yeah. Because it's a private jet. Now, if you say you must fly a private jet because your, your pa tap your we are and your ma born you to fly a private jet at the expense of the library people, if you must fly a private jet and if we must indulge you because you're born with several small, your mother, you dance, son of my swan. So then, why don't you fly and come by the same day? And, brother, I said, brother, can't go to R, 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 A. Yep. Yeah, car, yeah, SUV, gasoline inside, AC on, everything. But then, then why you can't go and come by the same day? Why you gotta say, oh my man, the airport foul, you know, I won't go ahead and I was, I was spending that day, I'll come back. Right to the airport to go come back. The bicycle you carry? SUV. You flying private jet. And the Liberian people, 
are picking up the tap, as the American man would say, we are paying for the plane. Then you must go a whole day in advance, carry a large delegation. Oh, dog it, man. Oh, man, the guy here is a joke. Why are the man is a joke? Somebody said the funeral on Wednesday. And I, and I, and I'm so proud. The man got to go get Jackie uh, up here, I don't know how many rounds before the funeral. <laughs> the funeral that tomorrow, they will start eating something today. Go, my people, Liberia, we are in the, a, a serious mess. But I left this on more course. I will look it up. The itinerary, the publish it somewhere. Check, check, please check your messenger. Check your messenger. Thank, thank you. Let's take some more calls, Baga. The funeral. Zero, uh, <laughs> zero seven seven zero one oh two one oh two eight eight six zero one zero three eight three uh chopper five one oh two one oh two keep your calls coming in this morning and we'll take you uh we stay anticipating them so uh, the whatsapp number is plus two three one chopper eight six two four one seven one um yeah they say he took uh, a 10 men delegation to attend a funeral yeah yeah, and he left at six fifteen a.m. for Accra, mm. and uh, of course, the Jerry Rollins has been lying. He stayed at the Accra International Conference Center, and we're told. Let me see when the funeral happens. Somebody is saying, "Yeah, the funeral happening on Wednesday." So the man gone. He going to go chill. Let's take some more calls. Yeah, the funeral will happen on Wednesday. The funeral service will take place on, uh, you know. Woo. At the Black Star Square in Accra on Wednesday. That's tomorrow, the twenty the, the twenty seventh. The funeral is happening tomorrow, the twenty seventh. Your president left the country early this morning to go to Jackie Apia first. Hmm? To go get down. <laughs> but I know, there's no but I, there is no nice way to put it in. The men go get down. At our expense. My mother, we love men voting for president, but they want you slay ahead. They may go okay door at our expense. They may were there in Ghana for one week, killing Dari Apia door. He don't care door. Only the people who understand anything are talking. The girl tell you, tell why anybody go to go okay door. They may left at 6 15 a.m. Uh, my, bre my brother John Sobo, 6 15 a.m. I think the man left. And the PL, soon the money. Soon the money. They feel that like tomorrow. They may go on private jet. And then the mental jacket, the better jacket, they jack lay now in the hotel. I come in there with, with side of fire around fire. They may go get off. He carried 10 men with him. 10 people to go get off. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Let's go back to the phone line. There's a more We in trouble. We in trouble. Let's take this person. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. I'm not going to get to the phone. It's good. Welcome. Um, for the issue about President George Weah, mm. President George Weah always lies to the Liberian people, saying things that I know that he can't do. Um, President Weah, that's the one that, that, the Lord's people have always lost us in. So, for the 23, we're going to win, but in a way, but the way I now have nothing, nothing else to tell the Lord's people. Thank you, my brother. We know that one. Yeah. We're going to win it, man. We're going to win it. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. The funeral service is tomorrow, folks. Gerald Rawlings will be laid to rest tomorrow at the Black Star Square is where they have the funeral service. Tomorrow, Wednesday, January 27th. Your president goes at 6.15 a.m. on the eve of the funeral. It's a two-hour flight to go to Ghana. That two hours. On a freaking private jet. The son of my swan left 6.15 in the morning to go get door first thing in the morning. But when does the man arrive at the at the airport? 
By 8.15, the man will be in Ghana. I go to Ghana all the time. I know how long it takes. So, by 8.15, by, if you arrive to your Jew house by 8.15 in the morning, is that not early? The first phase. The first phase. Round one. Killing door session starts. This is... <laughs> yeah. Look, why, why else do you think the man will go to Ghana this early in the morning? My people, why else? They may be the reason long time. But at what time is it in La Bureau? It is 8.43. They may be the reason already. He feel the reason already? From the airport, uh, Kotoka International, to wherever Jackie appeared living. The man, finish, the man, you know, when he arrived at the president. Look, the Ghanaians must be fed up with this man. What kind of, what, what, what kind of man, what kind of president who is always in the people's country? What kind? Okay, so... Okay, executive mansion Jeff Kerry live. President George Money, we are arrived in Accra, Ghana. Okay, so the man in Accra, he on his way now to go to go to go to go to a fair hand. Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a useless man, useless man. Let's take some more calls. The Ghanaians must be fed up with this man because every time a foreign leader comes to your country, what you what you gotta do? You gotta get a convoy. You gotta provide security. You gotta do this. The whole product, product, product is a mess. It's a, it's a mess. So he could not work today in La Brea. Hold on. Hold on. Could he not work today, Baga? Could he not work today in Liberia? Have a full day of work. Of course, we know he ain't working Could he not have a Full day of work today. After working, he called a Jew and said, I'm coming in the evening. But no, he wants to start early. So many killing dog. This is the man that Ellie made president of our country. Today, they see Ellie open her mouth to say she won't make the next president will be woman. They see Ellie. That's the old witch. Like, like, like we were saying, Costa is a sea private jet that he normally flies around with. Is what he's in now. I'm watching it live. But yeah, but I hear that sea jet. That jet will pay about $15,000 per hour. So the two hours to go to Accra, that's $30,000 US dollars just for the two hour flight. Just to go one way. That, that is that is that is that is that is that is jet. We pay the men way for the men to go have fun. Every other weekend, the man goes to Accra. Before Joe, we are picking president of Liberia. He spent more time in Ghana than in like than in Liberia. Some of you don't know don't know this. He had one a dirty house in Ghana. Oh, the man bought a mansion in in Ghana since he became president. He loves Ghana. That's why they call it open. We are they say he's a Ghanaian. The Ghanaian people can say he's a Ghanaian. Open. So we are in trouble. We take out a prayer to God. So they may get all, all, all in the country. So 2023 can reach all the moving men from power. Let's take some more calls up, Baga. We got uh, uh 14 more minutes ago. Okay. Now we'll take this person. Okay, that person is the public line. You can call me back and you'll be live on the show on 0770-102-102-86-010383. Good morning. Yeah, what's that? No, but uh, what's that? What's that? Just, just, you know, we are, we ne I think the guy will never be the same fact. Because every time that man goes there, you can't be funny. And if you want to call him a story, because every time that we have to call him, he can't not money to spend the full country. So, 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 so they will not like to go to the level of Ghana. Every three days, we have to go to Ghana. They go and share the money. As they go and share the money, they share the same thing. You know how much money you want to spend in our house there, or where you want to run? So that who money is sharing? So they will come and accept it. Then you go start, they will not listen to you. Every day you share money, and they will accept it. They go and go in. They are also dying. They will go in. Thank you. And look at to go Ghana to go do woman business, they roll red copper in front of him. To the airport. I'm I'm seeing the video. Let's take some more some more calls. Good morning. Uh, good morning, brother. Uh, good morning to Manila. 
Aaron, Pedro, Costa. My name is Mohamed Kamara. Kamara. Good morning, Pedro. Morning, Amara. Well, uh, guys, there's absolutely nothing you would expect from Korea. I think you didn't be very better than next time. Can you imagine 1.58 billion dollars like that? Where are we going to get our money from? Like, let me just say, let's just wait for before we put on the little Mario and keep it off. But I'm talking about school, yeah, we school day and get the way out of power. And the foolish result of this is to raise video. It is that I will be my hand. I believe in the sense that I already know what we want to do. So I'm too tired for our young generation to come. My heart that we got out of the house, I'll be in the temple. So what we're fighting on now is to fight for our children to come. So that way for 2020, and I keep putting those up, what we see, we can see that I'm going to do it. We get to maintain the house now. Thank you so much. Uh, Two more calls, like a uh, few more calls on the line, 0770102102, and a uh, person here. Good morning. Good morning, Baka, and good morning to the senator in waiting. I want to say good morning to the people. Your name, where you calling from? Stephen Bonaya. My name is Stephen S. Bonaya. I'm calling from Johnsonville. All right, welcome. Uh, but I will just need to work hard and do everything possible as soon as to reach it. There will be no, nothing that will run out of election or step on run. If we can work hard, make sure and put the government into a fire. And at the end of the day, when you to the city, when you hear one result, one result, you will just start packing a thing before anything can hear you and have the final result. That's all we can do. All of the complaints will not help us. Just need to stand up to the pool. As soon as to the city, we won't have very fast. Well, then, thanks. Before you get one result, you get back your thing and leave. Thank you so much, Bata, and thank you to Leader Costa. All right. Thank you, Stevie. Um, so that's it. Uh, we'll take some more calls here on the line. The lines are still open and active. The WhatsApp number is here also. Plus 231 is the WhatsApp number. And uh, you will be live with us this morning on the show. So we'll take some more calls on 0770-102-102-86-010383-555-102-102. So there's no call yet, cause uh, The Millennium Challenge Corporation, we qualified for the first time in 2015. They provided $257.8 or $9 million for Liberia, electricity expansion. We saw a lot of that money going to the hydro and transmission and distribution, even though the need is still very uh, huge. But they're, they're shutting down in Liberia. They, Liberia no longer has a compact account. We've lost out. Recently, Sierra Leone just got $400 million. Just... A few months ago, the Sierra Leoneans were celebrating a new compact account uh, or grant of $400 million. Free money for the Sierra Leoneans. Uh, it's a sad day for our, for our country. Our Millennium Challenge account has been closed. Liberia no longer has... Because you see the way the Millennium Challenge Corp Corporation works. It was enacted by the American Congress in 2004 under the, uh, uh, during the presidency of uh, George Bush and, uh, in 2004. And uh, it offered a new philosophy to American philanthropy where they developed what they call a scorecard. And there, uh, there are about, you know, 21, uh, there's about 21 indi indicators. Yeah, there's 21 indicators. You have to score the majority on these indicators. They're talking about political governance, human rights, uh, fighting corruption, accountability, transparency, so on and so forth. If you score a certain mark, 
on the school card. Every country. You remember the time Joey I said the Puma sells a Serie Now, Joey thinks that when they say you yeah. have a school card, he thinks it's literally you are sitting a test. And so they must send us a school card. He said this. It was humiliating. They went to a program and he was telling the American ambassador, uh, yeah, please send all uh, Serie Grad teachers so they can help all the pass. They don't mean a test that you literally go and sit and take. When you attempt to muzzle people like us, the Costa Show, when you steal in an un, uh, unadulterated un fashion, as you do, when, when, when you break people's, uh, you violate people's rights, you abuse the laws of the country, uh, no transparency, no accountability in the way you, you govern the affairs of the state, these are the ways that you can accumulate your school, your marks, on a scorecard. So why Sierra Leone qualify for $400 million, a brand new grant, our grant that we got since 2015, our account has been closed. The man literally said to the American ambassador, send us a stellar club teacher. We had an audio, we were playing all over the place. They went to a program. This was the Mount Coffee. They, they went to the Mount Coffee, to the water, to the White Plains, where they got the water and sewer thing. They went to do to, to groundbreaking for uh, the new water lines. And President Weah was telling the Americans, you know the TS, Mother Test, and Ha. So uh, we beg you, we're not fair in the Millennium Talent Test. So you said, I'll tell the glad teacher. I, was, I said, what? When they say school card, report card, they say, you know, when I went to school, uh, when, I, when, I, when I was going to DeVry, uh, uh, and if tests were coming, you know, the teacher will tell her where to study at. They will go, you know, I saw how the teacher can tell you, but I got which area the tests will come from. Yes. John, I say, the American people will tell you where the tests will come from. So you can go prepare for the, for the test. Did this guy really think that this, there's literally a test that you sit and you pass. It's 21 thematic areas. Political governance, e e economic governance, accountability, transparency, human rights, the rule of law, political rights, so on and so, so forth. 21 indicators. You need to score a certain mark for you to pass. We fail all of the men, send the men in there three years now with that failing. Finally, they shut the thing down. No more free money from the Millennium Challenge account. And this man is saying that the must say oh, the, the, the must say Liberia Stelly Clark teacher. Salama Swan. <laughs> Stelly Clark teacher. Did they say Stelly Clark teacher for Julius Mara Marabio? Huh? Eh? Ah, did. Thank you, my friend. Ghana then received a second compact money. $498.2 million. Yeah, yo, I just got the information. Say, look got 400 million. Ghana got over 500 million. Just what? Less than 2 million shy of 500 million. That's half a billion. So we are saying, I'm a static teacher. Yeah, yeah. Ghana Compact 2. That's what they call it, Ghana Compact 2. That's a second compact grant. $498.2 million. The compact intends to invest up to $498.2 million to support the transformation of Ghana's electricity sector and stimulate private sector, private investment. Yeah, go read it. The, the Ghanaian government published this. So, so we are saying that people must help us to bring static static teacher. Why Guinea then getting money? Ghana getting money. Say we got 400 million. Ghana just got a second compact money, 498.2 million. So we are saying they must send us static teacher so we can pass our own our own test. Because he 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 took all. Jesus Christ. This is not about a test that you go and you sit. It's not an exam. This is how you run the country over the, over the period. Every year, 
The way you run the country. When you be chasing people like us, trying to have me extra direct from Sierra Leone, do all these things count against you. Political rights, human rights. When you're stealing and you're talking about you have $10 million budget surplus and you're carrying it forward, and you can only, and in your speech, you say there's an inconsistency, there's a discrepancy of what? $3 million. Where is the $3 million? You carry $10 million forward and then you announce in your speech $7 million. Where is the $3 million? Where did that $3 million fall? It fell through the cracks. Right there. At Jamaica Resort. <laughs> but I got one of our people that wrote right here. And man, the job we are currently killing door as we as you speak. <laughs> <laughs> Look, now that's my throw. Now you all believe those of you who just say you're not supposed to know both to be president. I hope you all know now. To be president, you must know both. Setting job, Baka. To do it, you gotta know Paul. You want be medical data, you gotta go to medical school. You want be draw, you gotta learn how to drive. You want be president, you gotta know plenty of things. I tell you, the president is a fish man. Let's take two more calls and we'll call it a day. So the millennium challenge gone. We gone. We signed a Millennium Challenge in October 2015. 257.8 million. We were all excited. Amara Corner was Minister of Finance. Today, we ain't got no more Millennium Challenge account, yeah? It gone. All right. Let's take this person here. You got to know book. When you not know book, it finish. Good morning. You didn't wait call it from. All right, that person isn't ready yet. Uh, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Uh, yes, yeah. what well, I come back to one again, man. You won't be president of no more. That's not go. You will get fully accepted. You don't go in no more for you. Yes, my younger, my younger, my sister, my younger, walked in there and I'm going to continue. Look at the cost of education. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, let me take this person on the line. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning to Harry Costa. Good morning. Yeah, take it on My name is Kuba Pasewe. Yeah, Kuba Pasewe, welcome. Thank you, brother. Good morning, Costa. This is my Larry. Okay. Let me appreciate Costa and you on the show this morning. I think we are. Going backwards and forward when it comes to our country progress. Because I listened to the president, he spoke about our debt. And it was this that he spoke about 1.5 billion. And people in the world were clapping. I don't know why these people were clapping. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know. I was not the one, but I was thinking about the whole world clapping. Like the president is making progress. Mm -hmm. Oh man, 
Ah, oui, 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 You send five hundred dollars. That's five dollars. You send uh, nine hundred dollars. That's nine dollars. One percent fee. You send three hundred. That's three dollars. If you want to cash the money out when they when they go to Liberia, it's up to you. You can go to Lone Star Cell where the rate is very very low compared to say going to the mobile money agent. So there's the best way. Send wave. That's the only way I send money to Liberia. That's the only way people. All thousands of people I know are sending money to Liberia. Thank you so much, God. But God bless you all, and have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Baka. Yeah. You want to let know what I'm doing, Ghana? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So we'll we'll, we'll be marking a score. Uh, round one about to begin. <laughs> In Ghana. Just let the big boy, the big boy, Tiba now get ready for round one. Yeah. <laughs> No man, the mental about the money, my man. The thing I get to, I mean, the man that old football player, old football player, I don't let pay take my money. The man, yeah, the man get to buy so much money. Jackie, I tell you, tell him, say he 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 spoke to a lot of people, so she afraid of coronavirus. Oh, okay, so you gotta go take my money. Yeah, we probably told him. All right, bye bye. <laughs>